So today is Monday. Uh, today we are supposed to be prepping for a major hurricane here in Florida, bro. So honestly, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. Some people are saying evacuate. Some people are saying people in Orlando are perfectly fine. We're gonna get some of the storm, but stay where you are and just, you know, shelter in place or whatever. I'm not from here, so I honestly don't know, like, you know, how hurricanes work out here. But I know the last hurricane that we had got, Orlando didn't get much of it because it wasn't, it was more south. But this one is more of a direct hit. So it's like, I honestly couldn't really tell you what I'm supposed to do. I, I, I'm Right now I'm in between either just flying back home, flying to my cousin's house in Houston, or just driving to the nearest state that doesn't have a hurricane in it. Um, so as of right now, I couldn't tell you, but just pray for your boy, man, whatever I do decide to do. Um, yeah, man, I'll keep y'all posted. I'm probably gonna record the whole process, give y'all a cool little YouTube video. Just, and if I post it, that just means that I survived. But going to the gym, as always, starting the day off right. Oh yeah, it's empty. Yeah. Empty? Yeah, it's empty, bro. Everybody's somewhere prepping for the storm. So we got an empty gym, man. I'm about to go ahead and get this, this working on this treadmill. Get my cardio on. Looking a little, looking a little good, looking a little slim. How about these me? Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, so about to get this treadmill working. Probably do a cool 30 minutes. Today is Monday, like I said, so it's a work from home day. Um, so I'll be working from the comfort of my own home. Probably for the whole week because my job advised that we work from home to prepare for the storm. Um, so yeah this has been raining for the past couple of days so i'm pretty sure they're gonna pick all this stuff up soon so that it doesn't get taken away in the storm um well yeah man if you haven't been in any state with the hurricane i've been through like two like slight hurricanes it's bad but it's not like crazy at least the ones that i've been in but i know that they can get terrible like hurricane helene was od for a lot of people, man, a lot of people lost their lives and had no power for weeks and had the roof taken off the top of their crib. Like, it's just crazy, bro. So, you know, praise to everybody here in Florida, man. Hope y'all pray for me. I'll keep it updated. Um, and I'm gonna keep recording the whole process, man. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Not hopefully that we can find something good on camera from the storm, but like, you know, hopefully it's not nothing crazy. Hopefully I can at least show y'all what it's like to be in a storm like this. Um, for those of you who've never been in one. So yeah, but I'm about to get right in this treadmill and I will see y'all a little later. All right, y'all, just left the gym. Started to rain already, so I feel like the hurricane might be here a little earlier or it's definitely making his way here. So um, pretty good workout, like an hour, hour some change. Um, treadmill, Stairmaster, did some weights burn around like seven eight hundred calories um feeling good man so i just got back from the gym i showered uh felt good got some new clothes on um yeah i'm still debating on what to do i'm debating to either fly out tonight or drive tonight uh to houston uh, my cousin said that she's not gonna be in her apartment this week so i could have a free crib and she left her car for me so i guess it makes sense right might just spend the weekend in Houston or the week in Houston. Um, but before I get into that, man, watch out, cut open. Oh man, I didn't even pee. Uh oh. Please, God, make sure there's nothing wrong with this. There's no harm or danger inside of it. I can't make me sick. Um, but yeah, so quick little breakfast for y'all, man. I got some strawberry yogurt, some bananas. Um, I got some protein granola, 13 grams, and then I got a little bit of honey. Um, just for a little, a little pizzazz. Um, so yeah, this is my quick little healthy breakfast. I'm about to do some work and then I'm about to watch some YouTube and, and cool it, bro. And then plan my rest of my day. Once I finish everything I have to do for today, hopefully I can finish by, let's see what time it is, 10.56. Hopefully I can finish everything by like maybe two o'clock. 
hopefully like two o'clock so that I can spend the rest of the afternoon packing and um, planning if I'm gonna drive or buy a flight. So yeah, I'll keep y'all posted. If I do buy a flight, the flight would be tomorrow um, at like 9 a.m. And if I do drive, then I'll probably leave super early, like 4 a.m. tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know what happens, man. We are evacuating one way or another. Um, so I guess you guys won't be able to see what a hurricane is because I ain't gonna be here for it. But yeah, man. So y'all stay tuned for the video, man. Hope y'all enjoying it so far, and I will see y'all in a few. Let's get it. It's great to be with you. Coming up in just a little bit, about five minutes ago, we'll be taking you out to Tampa International Airport, getting the latest updates from the official major Tampa hurricane Milton exposed to category five. This bad boy is cooking up. And the path is going is directly to Orlando. Orlando would be like right here where this 95 is. And the line is directly through it. Oh, brother. And the officials there give the updates as they recover from Hurricane Helene. Yeah, so I don't know, y'all boys, man. Not looking too good. Uh, I am almost done with my work. Right now it is 12.56, almost 1 o'clock. Um, so I am about to stop soon. I'm almost done. I'm gonna go pack, prepare everything I need to load the car up. Um, waiting for Kiara to get out of work so that we can pack, load the car up, go to the store, get some gas, and then be on the road, man. Hopefully we don't get stopped in too much traffic for everybody trying to evacuate at the same time. <sighs> I have to move all of this stuff out of here and probably like at least away from the window. So maybe I'll just take my monitor, put it in a the closet. These shoes might have to just stay here. Honestly, it's too heavy, too big to move. I'm just trying to figure out the safest way possible, man. Um, but yeah, man, I'm probably gonna end the video here and then pick it back up when I am on the road and in a safer environment because I don't know, I have 15 hours on the road. So I probably won't have any time to obviously edit a video and upload it until I get to Houston, so. That's going to be it for today's video, man. Um, for right now, I'll keep you guys posted for a part two. Um, yeah, man. If you live in Florida, man, I'm praying for you. Be safe. Um, please evacuate if you can. If not, man, get the safest shelter possible. And I pray that we all make it out, man. So um, I'm a little nervous just because of my first one. I'm not too terrified because I know that I'm leaving. But it's just like I'm scared for what florida's gonna look like when i come back so i'll keep you guys posted on what's going on man y'all boys be safe i'm out of here so as i was getting ready to come in my room to pack i was like let me just turn the news on one more time and just see if there's any updates and it's bad bro it's really bad so at first they were saying it was going to be a category five or it's a category five now first it was a four which is, if you don't know about hurricanes, category five is the worst it can get. Well, at least that's what we've seen. But now it's saying that it's going to be a category five until it gets to Tampa. It's going to be a category four at Tampa, possibly still five. And it's not going to die down once it hits inland Florida. So that's Orlando. So once it hits Orlando, it's not going to die down. It's not going to die down until it gets to the other side of Florida, to the what, Atlantic Ocean. It's going to be a Category 1 once it passes through Florida. So that means all of Florida is going to get between a Category 3 to a 1. <sighs> just watch it. She says it. Let's, let's just watch it together. This is crazy. Still downgrade to a 4, but given the fact that it's going to be even stronger as a Cat 5, there's only so much it can weaken. So unfortunately, it is still going to be a category three making landfall. Notice this Wednesday at 8 p.m. on the west coast of Florida, the center still right over Tampa Bay with maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. Another thing I want to point out that potentially Milton could be a lot stronger as it makes its way over land, potentially a cat two or category three. Uh, that is going to cause extensive damage from both sides of the coast. So it won't really downgrade until once it finally exits into the Atlantic Ocean to that category one. Also, notice in the forecast code, Treasure Coast, Okeechobee, we're under that. Now, just...
That's tough, bro. That's really tough. That doesn't sound good at all. So if I leave today, 15 hour drive to Houston, I should be fine. But if not, man, I'm, I don't think staying here is smart, bro. I really don't. I won't even want to risk it. It's crazy work, bro. But I just want to update y'all on that real quick, man. I might just start packing in and try to get up out of here as soon as I can. Um, and yeah, man, I'll try to update y'all along my process and how everything goes, man. So yeah, crazy. Uh -huh.